Hi! Welcome to my first video, official video with news on this new channel of mine. First one will be dedicated to the inauguration of the new automated fuselage structure assembly line in Hamburg that uh, was officially opened this month, which is a big step towards the 63 uh, A320 family aircraft that was once to deliver per month. And I even have the feeling that they will be producing even more sooner than later. Because this assembly line will definitely be a success as it improves efficiency, speed and quality. Because if the robots are set properly, because they're going to employ 20 robots, uh, then there is no human mistake you can make. You just need to check the robots. So that's a very big step in reaching the higher goals that Airbus has and this will most probably after half a year to a year also be extended to other facilities uh, the one in Toulouse, the one in the US and I guess also the one in China although labor in China is cheaper still efficiency and quality are very high on the priority list of Airbus especially nowadays after all the problems that we see at uh, let's say not just Boeing because yeah everyone is talking about Boeing with its 737 MAX but also when you look at the manufacturers of parts like wings where we see the cracks uh, when we look at engines actually I don't know if there is one engine manufacturer that is not having big issues at this moment I mean we all know Rolls Royce but Pratt & Whitney also has problems, GE has problems. There's a lot happening and quality is important. Automation has always been involved, um, especially in the car manufacturing industry for already a very long time. I mean, when I was young, back in the 70s, 80s, that was already the case, but with the quality of robots and the precision they can work with today there is so much more possible and it comes to precision to speed to time and also the quality of the work by hand there are limits to what you can do when it comes to half a millimeter or even less left or right or thickness and you may think half a millimeter on an airplane that is 30 to 80 meters long, but does it matter? Well, it matters when it comes to numbers, numbers that are large. And to give you a simple example, maybe you don't know this, but the Fokker F100 was not screwed together. It was literally glued. with special super glue and that may not be possible for bigger airlines maybe or maybe it's possible today but they're not doing it yet but they did it the Dutch did it and it worked and these airplanes are still flying around and never ever one fall apart so basically like you have your models that you buy in pieces and you start gluing them and putting them together exactly the same way it was done for the whole fuselage and to give you an indication they did a demonstration where they took uh, uh, two hooks a crane and, a, car, and a, a few cables and a car and a fat person inside it and the two hooks had each on the other side of the hook there was like a metal plate like this and they put that glue on it and they put these two pieces on top of each other and then one hook was connected to the crane the other one to the cables that were holding the car with the guy inside and there is a drive for I don't remember an hour maybe three hours I don't remember but it was a long show so probably a few hours and then at the end of the show after they did all the other stuff the crane picked up the car with the guy in it and it was 
2 by 2 centimeters or 3 by 3 centimeters. Let's say an inch by an inch. So one square inch of glue was enough to support, I think it was 800 kilos or so, or even more. It was just an example. And we know that when the airplane is pressurized, there is a lot of tension because the pressure on the outside is very low because you're high in the air. And then the pressure inside, we want to keep it relatively high so that people don't get too tired. So there's a lot of tension in it. And yet, the Fokker F100 can simply fly and is flying already for 30 years. And they're doing fine. So, this concludes the video for today. Please feel free to like and subscribe, to put in the comments uh, what you would like to see more, uh, what you would like to hear about more. Um, video footage can be limited sometimes. You cannot always find everything that, that we're looking for, especially if it's fresh news. But I guess that you're already used to, so sometimes you see pictures of uh, like at a certain moment we're seeing pictures everywhere of the A320, but we're talking about the A320 Neo, but there was simply no footage of the Neo yet. So I will do my best to always have the right footage, or at least from the right company, meaning the right airline, or from the right aircraft type. See you in the next video. Have a wonderful day. If you dislike the video, you do this. If you liked it, thumbs up, share, and subscribe. Also, check out my Patreon page. There you can support me and get access to exclusive content. Get more. Check it out in the link below.